Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing cha-ching number 96. So the first thing that we're starting off with, um, to go to a subscriber named Sandra. This was a Disney World canvas tote bag that sold for $15.99 and I picked that up at a church kind of like rummage sale. I'd say I paid about a dollar or two dollars for that. Um, next item was a set of three wooden cats. Now these were not marked Laurel Birch, but they definitely had that Laurel Birch style look to them. So it was for a set of three of these. I sold them as the set. That's how I found them at a yard sale. Those sold for $30.99 and I feel like I paid $5 for the set of those cats. I sold a Dooney and Burke purse for $99.99. Um, I can't remember. I think I got this at a yard sale and I'd say I pay maybe $20 for it. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it had to come from a yard sale, but I'm not exactly sure, um, how much I paid for it. Uh, next item we have was a pair of Doc Martens boots. These sold for $59.99. Typically, anytime I pick up a pair of Doc Martens boots, they always sell. I think the only pair that hasn't sold was um, a children's size. I still have listed, but all the adult sizes have sold. Um, these here, I'd say also I probably picked up at a yard sale or... Those could have come from the church sale as well. So I'd say $5 into those. I sold a brooch pin. This was marked Mexico. That sold for $12.99. This also came from a yard sale, I do believe. And I'd say I paid about a dollar for it. I also sold a wooden rubber stamp. Um, this one looked like a recipe card, so you would just, you know, put your ink on it and then put it on a um, recipe card sized piece of paper, and then it had all the information you could fill out to, you know, write up your recipe. I found this at a yard sale, and I think I paid like a quarter or so for it, and that actually sold for $18.50. I also sold a vintage, this was by a company called Regal, R-I-G-E-L. This was for a baby bunny receiving blanket um, for a baby. That sold for $24.99. I feel like I did have those for a while. Some vintage baby blankets can sell really well. Um, just depends on the print, the brand, that type of thing. Um, so I do like picking them up when I see them and, you know, obviously at a cheap price. That did come, I believe, from a yard sale and I'd say I paid a dollar or less for it. I also sold a Rudolph Island of Misfit Toys um, musical, like Christmas decoration. That sold for $99.99. That came from a, not a yard sale, an auction is where I got that. And I'd say we paid $20 or so for it. This item I had for a really long time. This was for a vint vintage, um, like one of those motivational posters that, you know, you would have seen uh, growing up in school, like in a classroom. It had a duck on it. Um, and it was by a company called Xerox. So it was kind of like those, you know, those scholastic type of posters. Anyway, I actually have more of these somewhere in my death pile. I need to find them. But anyway, this one did take a while to sell, but it sold for $5.99 and I had gotten like a pretty large stack of them for, I don't even think I paid anything for them. I think I got them for free. Uh, next we have a pair of Dansko floral clogs that sold for $39.99. Um, these here, I'm pretty sure came from a yard sale and I'd say we paid, um, $10 or less for them. I want to say five. Um, dance goes typically always sell for me fairly quickly. I think currently I only have one pair listed that hasn't sold yet. Um, but with dance goes and I always say like do, a stress test on them first, like bend the soles, twist them, make sure they're not dry rotted because dance goes are notorious 
for their soles dry rotting like they can look brand new but could potentially be dry rotting so if you ever come across them just make sure you check them first our next item was by Shanghai Handicrafts. This was an owl basket. I thought this was so stinking cute. It did sit for a while, but it finally did sell. This was over $29.99, and I picked that up at a yard sale. I believe I paid $2 for it. I also sold a set of vintage snowflake teacup snack plates. So these were um, little snack plates that came with the teacups. You could put, like, your tea or your coffee or hot chocolate whatever and then have like a little snack I thought these were so cute I got these at an auction they sold for $29.99 and I'd say I paid five dollars or less for those I sold a dollhouse size little ceramic bathroom tub for $9.99 probably pay about a quarter for this at a yard sale I do like picking up dollhouse furniture when I see it because it typically does sell not for a whole lot of money but if you're only paying like a quarter for each piece um i would definitely pick it up uh next uh, item we have is a pair of red wing boots that sold for a hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents um i'm sure these came from a yard sale and i'd say we paid twenty dollars or less for them Eric actually found these at a yard sale this was for a lot of books they were called warhammer books um i think he paid i want to say he paid 15 dollars for the lot of those at a yard sale and they sold for 122 dollars and 50 cents so definitely if you ever come across lots of these books definitely pick them up i had never seen them before um next we have a motocross shirt by a company called left field that's over $29.99 and I got that at a yard sale for $1. This next item was a crop top by a company called Naked Zebra. That sold for $9.99 and I feel like that came from like a fill a bag rummage sale. Um, I sold a Clinique blush in the shade Mocha Pink for $22.99 that came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar or two dollars for it. I sold a Mr. Christmas um, carousel. Um, this was called a Carillon, if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. Um, that sold for $59.99. That came from an auction, and I'd say $20 or less on that. Eric has been selling some of these Orioles pins. He won like a pretty large flat of these. Um, Orioles enamel pins at an auction and they have been selling here and there. This one was for a Brady Anderson pin that sold for $8.99. I sold a set of vintage bottle brush wreaths. These were just like little, you could use them as ornaments or what have you, put them in like little dioramas basically. Uh, those sold for $29.99. And uh, I'm not exactly sure where those came from. They probably came from an auction on like a tray of some random Christmas items. I sold a pair of men's shorts by a company called Ignition. So these were on the older side, probably from like the early 2000s. These sold for $39.99 and those came from a yard sale, I do believe. So probably a dollar for those. I sold a mini Boyd's Bear lamb and it was wearing a little sweater with a butterfly on. So cute. So it was a, a miniature Boyd's Bear, well, lamb in this instance. Uh, anyway, that's over $81 and a penny. I got that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure she charged me a quarter for it. This next item went to a subscriber named Margaret. This was for a set of four cast iron owl wall brackets. Those sold for $29.99 and they came from a yard sale and I'd say we paid about a dollar for those. I sold this vintage bulldog. This was like a vinyl plush by a company called Tomi, T-O-M-I, not T-O-M-Y. Uh, this sold for $49.99, and I won that at an auction. I think I paid about $7 for it. 
This next item was an automotive diagnostic code reader. Eric purchased this at an auction. I'm not exactly sure what he paid for it. I don't think it was much. Um, it sold for $119.99. Eric did like test it before he, you know, listed it or anything like that. Um, the person, and I'll talk about this right now since we're on this item. I won't save it till the end. Um, but the person who got this said that um, there was some sort of prongs somewhere along the line that were bent. And obviously, you know, when Eric listed it and stuff and everything like that, it was fine. So we didn't know if he was just trying to, you know, if he was telling the truth or if he was trying to, you know, just get money back or what have you because he said he had to buy something some part or whatever so we told him like you can send the item back and get a full refund but he refused to send the item back so he left a negative feedback <laughs> for it um so that just right there to me is like red flag a little bit like as far as like okay if you are unhappy about something and you can get your money back why would you not return the item so you can get your money back um so i don't know like i said i don't know if he was just trying to you know get a little like a partial refund or what have you but then to leave a negative like you could have gotten your money back if you returned it but still leave like a negative feedback i don't know it's just one of those things it's one of those things as far as like ebay reselling you come across these instances it's like you know you kind of just have to brush it off your shoulder because it's going to happen you're going to have people who are unhappy about something sometimes you know as as you're reselling so it's just a it's a fact of the reselling life but you know we tried to make it right by you know giving him a refund if he sent the item back but just he refused so not much more you can do in an instance like that uh, next item we have, this was for a toy called the Grocery Gang. So this was like a blind box type of toy. Um, Eric found like a bunch of these at a yard sale. I guess at some point someone was like a, a toy clearance shopper. And these were actually selling pretty well. We paid $5 for each one. And this one sold for $69.99. So that was a pretty good pickup. We do still have a couple more. This next item was a doll by an artist called Heidi Pluzak. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, this was called the Patsy doll. She came in a case with clothes and accessories and all that fun stuff. She sold for $89.99 and I won her at an auction. And I say I paid about $40 for her. This next item also came from an auction. This was a book on um, clothing patterns for bluette dolls. This was brand new. That sold for $89.99, and I'd say I paid about $10 for that at the auction. I sold a mini Ralph Lauren perfume for $22.99, and, you know, I don't know where that came from. It was probably, at one point, and then you've probably heard me talk about it before, I had won a bunch of mini perfumes at an auction and I've just been kind of like listing them here and there. So that's probably where it came from. This next item to go to a subscriber named Lori. This was a left in kissing angels pair that sold for $12.99. Again, this was probably yard sale or auction. Um, next item to go to a subscriber named Jackie. This was for a vintage Janssen bathing suit that sold for $39.99. Um, I'd say this came from a yard sale or a fill a bag rummage sale. Next item, this was so cute. This was for a set of two. There was a grandma version and a grandpa version and they were like little journals. They were from 1981. And they were blank inside, like no one had written in them yet. So basically it was something that a grandma and grandpa could fill out to give to their grandchildren, which was really cute. It had all these like questions about like their childhood and growing up and you know, their favorite things and stuff like that. And I so wish I had something like that from my grandparents. Um, I actually 
found something similar to this um, at a yard sale not that long ago when my um, when my cousin's children were really young and I gave that to my aunt to fill out because you know it was something that I always wanted to have that you know I don't have so like I wanted her to fill it out for his kids for you know when they get older um so yeah I thought this was like the coolest thing and they still make things like this so if you have grandchildren definitely consider purchasing something like this you can buy them on Amazon and fill them out for your grandkids for when they get older because they will love it they might not you know at the time being young not fully understand and not appreciate it as much but when they get older they will definitely appreciate it and they have it for moms dads grandparents and all that kind of stuff anyway i found these at a um i think i got them at a filler bag rummage sale but it might have been a yard sale they sold for 19 dollars 99 I sold a Furby for $34.99. Um, Furbies sell. Um, some can definitely sell better than others. I'd say this one came from a yard sale. We probably paid about $2 for it. Sold an advanced skincare lift factor for $45.99. These came from a beauty tray that I had won at an auction. I also sold an Italian leather uh, purse for $99.99. This came from a yard sale, and I'd say I spent about $10 on that purse. I also sold that uh, little set of Sylvanian Family's mice. This came from a filler bag rummage sale. Those sold for $39.99. I sold a bottle of Dior Je Adore perfume for $13.99. There wasn't a whole lot left in this bottle, but it still did sell. Um, that came from an auction tray of perfumes that I won at an auction. I sold an Irby Love Bug die cast car for $89.99. Eric won that at an auction. I'd say he paid less than $20 for it. I also sold a Limoges handled serving dish for $25.99. That came from an auction. I don't remember if this was on a tray of some other stuff I won or if I just won it separately. Um, so I'd say two or three dollars for that average. I sold a Rushton monkey. This one was called Zip. My mom actually had this monkey. I still have it. Um, but I found this one at an auction. It was in much better condition than the one that she has, or I have, I should say, because I have it now. Um, but anyway, that sold for $69.99. I won that at an auction, and I believe I paid um, $20 or less for it. Uh, next item was an Eagles windbreaker jacket that sold for $39.99. Eric picked this up at a yard sale, and I'd say we paid about ten dollars or less for it these next two items i'm pretty sure went to a subscriber and i apologize i wrote down that it was a subscriber but i don't have a name written down and i don't know why and of course i went to go look for it and i don't see it now because i did you know get caught up with my cha-chings but they are disappearing but i have them all written down so i apologize if you are watching this video please comment and i will actually pin your comment up at the at the top of the comment so I can give you credit for it. Um, anyway, these next two items did go to a subscriber. The first one was an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. That's over $13.99. Um, pretty sure I picked that up at a yard sale. And then she also purchased a um, ceramic lipstick holder. It was shaped like a lady and you could, she had holes around her dress. You could stick your lipsticks or lip balms in that sold for $15.99 and I picked that up at a yard sale and I'd say I paid a dollar or less for that I sold an Avon Amari Blossom perfume for $19.99 that did come from an auction and about a dollar for that um, I sold a Miami MD Lift and Firm Cream for $39.99. That came from one of the um, beauty trays that I won at an auction. 
I sold a pair of Mary Jane style shoes by a company called Riker, R-I-E-K-E-R. Those sold for $59.99. Those came from a yard sale, I'm sure. I'd say maybe $5 for those. I sold a Beverly Hills MD Lift and Firm Cream. The person who purchased this bought two of them at $69.99 a piece. So grand total of $139.98. Those came from one of those beauty trays that I won at the auction. And the last two items that I have for the stitching went to a subscriber named Susan. She purchased a Forever Crystal Shower Gel for $19.99 that came from an estate sale. I paid $1 for it. And the other was a Lancome Tresor Perfume that sold for $29.99. And that probably came from a tray of perfumes that I won at an auction as well. Um, but that is everything for this cha-ching. I apologize, guys. Sometimes, like, I am just on top of it with my cha-chings. And, like, I remember my prices. I remember where I bought the stuff. And it's, like, all going great. And then other times, I just feel like, oh, I don't remember, <laughs> like, anything, basically. Um, I am recording this. It's kind of early right now. So I'm also not entirely awake either. Um, but as far as eBay goes, currently um, we are in a holiday. This is Labor Day weekend. Um, sales have been going pretty steady. I think since it is a holiday weekend, I'm probably going to send out some offers um, through today to see, you know, if anyone's in a shopping kind of mood and wants to pick up some stuff, um, you know, for a little bit of, of a cheaper price if they're watching something. So I think I'm going to send out some offers today. Um, uh, but as far as sales have been going, um, let's see, what do I have? Do, 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 do. I have 23 items that need to be shipped out through this weekend um since yesterday uh today's sunday so since saturday <laughs> um so hopefully that goes up until you know because obviously the post office is closed on monday so hopefully that goes up by tuesday so we have way more packages to um to ship out um, I do have one return coming. It was for a purse that I just sold. They just weren't happy with um, how it wasn't big enough, I think, for um, for them. So they're sending that back. So, so not a big deal. Um, so once I get that back, I will, you know, relist it. Um, but I haven't, I felt like I haven't been having many returns lately. So knock on wood there. Um, and as far as everything else goes, I just feel like it's, you know, going the same. It's smooth sailing. Um, yard sales are definitely slowing down, um, since back to school started. So I still have a decent amount of yard sale footage still. So you'll probably still be seeing yard sale footage videos for a while, but, um, as each week goes on, there are less and less yard sales to go to. So that means that, you know, when yard sale season is over, I can't source at yard sales anymore. So my main aspects of sourcing will be auctions, which I have been going to auctions that hasn't changed, but during the, you know, when there aren't yard sales. So we'll probably be going to way more auctions and as well as I will probably start going to some thrift stores because it has been a while. Um, it's not my favorite place to source, but you know, we will check it out. We got to at least check it out. Right. I have been kind of bugging Eric about going back to the Goodwill bins because we haven't been there for years and I really like enjoy the whole rummaging aspect like I love rummage sales and stuff I like digging for my treasure what can I say um so you know I would like to go back to one of those and we're also um gonna try and find more estate sales because we really 
don't go to many estate sales. They have to be around somewhere, but we just, I guess at this point, don't really know where to look for estate sales. So gonna have to try and find some of those to go to. Uh, but that is everything for this shishing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.